Hi guys, Mrs. A here. Today we're looking at finding quadratic relations using second differences from a table of values. So here I have a given table of values. Um, we have to first ensure before we do differences that all of the x values are increasing or decreasing by the same amount. So here you see that all the x values are increasing by 2, so we are okay to proceed with um, this test. So to find second differences, we have to do the first differences first. This is um, from our work with linear relations. So if we recall, we did first differences to find if a relation is linear or not. So let's start off by doing the first differences. And we do that by taking the first two y values in the y column and subtracting them. So a good rule of thumb to follow is to do the second one minus the first one. So we'll do 9.5 minus 33.5. So we can go ahead and subtract. When we do that, you can plug it into a calculator, 9.5 minus 33.5, if you struggle with doing these uh, in your head. We get negative 24. So then we do it again, negative 2.5 minus 9.5. Negative 2.5 minus 9.5, and here we have negative 12. Okay, and we proceed in the same way. Um, when we subtract negative 2.5 minus negative 2.5, we're going to get 0. And then finally, 9.5 minus negative 2.5. Make sure that you're accounting for the, that double negative, so be careful with that. And so here we get positive 12. So looking at all of the first differences, they are not equal. So if we were looking to see if this relation was linear, we would conclude right now that this is not a linear relation. So we know it's non-linear. Now we want to go a step further and determine if this is quadratic. So I'm going to add another column here and I'm going to do second differences. And second differences are just like our first differences. We're going to subtract the values in the previous column once again. So these are our second differences and we'll subtract them in the same way. So now we're going to subtract negative 12 minus negative 24. Like this. And we get positive 12. Then we do it again. 0 minus negative 12. And when we subtract that, we're going to get positive 12. And finally, 12 minus 0. And when we subtract those, we get 12 once again. And so now notice in our second differences column, we got all of the same number for the second differences. And when this happens, we know that we have a quadratic relation. So because the second differences are all equal here, this is a quadratic relation. If at this point those second differences uh, were not equal either, then we would stop. Um, we can go on to third differences, but in terms of finding out if this is a quadratic or not, uh, this, the second differences are enough to determine that. So we have to find our first differences first, and then second differences, and compare those values to determine if a relation is quadratic when given a table of values. Thanks for watching. Mrs. A loves math.